If your shoe organization area looks like this, but you would prefer it to look like this, watch today's video and we'll show you how to transform it. If you're like us, space is a premium in a closet, in a mudroom, in an entry. And many years ago, Ross made me a system to organize my shoes in the closet and it just dawned on me, why in the world didn't I do this on our mud porch? So today I'm gonna to show you how you can make a shoe and boot holding system that is really, really handy and it works. Since everyone's area is going to be different, I'm going to give you just the measurements on how you can determine how long to cut your organizer. So take the length that you would like it to be and minus two inches off of that number because we're going to set the pegs one inch end from each end. So for the shoe hanger, you're going to take your length minus two inches and then divide it by four because the pegs are four inches apart and that'll tell you how many pegs uh, you're going to have for your shoe organizer. For the boot hanger, you're going to take the length that you want it to be, again, minus two inches, and then divide that by three because the pegs are three inches apart. The shoes are cut at three inches long and the boots are cut at eight inches long. And we're gonna use either a 7 16 or a half inch dowel, whatever you can uh, find. And we're gonna place that on either a two by three or a two by four. So next we'll have Ross give you a tutorial of how to put this together. So Kara's got another project for me. Uh, we're gonna end up drilling these holes in the shoe rack for her. And I'll, I'll show you how to do that. And I think you'll find it very simple. Okay, to start out, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we've got a spade bit. This uh, spade bit is actually a flat bit. And then it's usually either got a point or a, uh, a tap on it, which will tap into the wood itself. And what it, this tap will do is end up dragging the bit into the wood all by itself. Um, and those are great. Uh, there's also ones with just points will just guide into the hole. I like those. I like either. Um, both of them are great. So what we're going to do is we don't want to go all the way through the piece of wood. So I'm going to go end up going to roughly about there. And luckily on here, there's a mark. Uh, it says 7 16 Actually, the hashtag between the two is basically where I want to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and take that, grab my tape. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Actually, I'm going to creep it above the, that mark. So just in case, after a little bit, that the tape, if the tape decides to kind of scoop back, it'll still be okay. And what the tape is going to do is going to tell me where to stop. So when I'm drilling, I'll drill until I hit right here, and then that's where I'm going to stop at. So it's just a, it's just a marker. Okay, double check that. That is just just right, same size. This is a 7 16 inch dowel, and of course this is a 7 16 inch, inch bit. And uh, so those are, uh, if you have half inch dowel, definitely get a half inch bit. So you just wanna match the bit to your uh, dowel size. So the next step is gonna be, uh, once you get everything drilled, um, get your, grab your dowel, and some tight bond original good wood glue. This stuff is great, we've been using it for a lot of years. It does a great job. Um, so we'll have that on the link down below as well. As well as that bit. Um, these old Diablo bits, um, they've been around for a little while and they just are great, great drill bit. So we'll take our glue, we'll go ahead and put some in the hole. And we'll just kind of Fill that hole up to roughly about one half of the way full. And then we'll take our, take our dowel and we'll squeeze out the glue. And that might have been a little bit too much glue. That might have been over about three quarter. And then once you do that, you get that, um, we'll just wipe off the excess with a rag. Oop, and magically here a rag shows up. Okay, we'll take that, wipe that off. And if you're going to stain that, the glue shouldn't affect that at all. Okay, Kara's got it all painted up. It looks great. Um, and just make sure that when you attach this to the wall, you use some pretty heavy-duty anchors. 
you got any questions or comments, just give us a holler uh, at DIY on the house or down below. Just push the button. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. And always thank you for watching the DIY on the house.